Hello, <laughs> last video for this week. Uh, done on literally zero hours of sleep, uh, pretty much 24 hours of consecutive work. But I'm doing this video for you guys because my commitments matter to me. So I wanted to quickly discuss the difference or more accurately, the importance of being nice in your life and where it can serve you and where it can actually hurt you. So one of the biggest things that changed for me uh, this year since learning my wife is pregnant, since getting a wife and getting married, uh, since increasing my goals and increasing my activity. What changed for me? The, the biggest, uh, you could say, bang for my buck in terms of different behavior is uh, that I uh, stopped being nice to people. I stopped trying to please people and I started focusing more on my goals by excluding things that don't move me forward. There's actually a very famous quote by Warren Buffett, the third richest person in the world, where he says that the difference between successful people and super successful people is that super successful people say no to almost everything. What, what can we learn from that? If you want to be super successful, you have to be focused because what people lack is not work ethic necessarily, although that is obviously not in a very big supply. But what you really lack in life is focus. It's to have a very precise, very narrow vision for what you want and not going for anything else that does not move you towards that target. By making yourself more focused and more productive, you'll hit your targets faster, you'll improve more, and you'll become more successful very, very fast. So where does being nice actually come into this thing? So for me, uh, people uh, like to talk to me because uh, I have a couple, of, a couple of skills that really help people and also I tend to give good advice. But what I've done this year is simply ignore anyone that doesn't move me towards my goals. So in the past I would feel uncomfortable about not answering people, I would feel the need to get back to people, uh, to maybe promise them I'll talk to them later. What I've started doing in the last few months is literally just not answering people if they're not moving me towards my goals. And so far, uh, this habit has only improved my life uh, because the more you can say no to things, the more you can uh, just make an immediate decision and not go for something that doesn't move you forward and only go for things that move your life forward, the faster you'll get to your goals, the higher your self-esteem will be and the more successful you'll get. So the tip for today, sorry for being kind of sneezy. Uh, my nose is uh, stuffed because I haven't slept at all. So my tip for you for today is to write down your goals and make them bigger. Actually write your biggest goals, like all the stuff that makes you excited. Stuff that's for fantasy land. And when you write them, actually ask yourself, what am I doing right now that's not moving me forward? And actually prefer to not move at all then move in another direction. Like it would be better to just sit in your room and not do anything rather than uh, going out to party with friends or talking to your friend about bullshit or to doing any activity that doesn't move you forward because those things are inherently um, sort of satisfying. They're not really satisfying, but they feel like they're satisfying. So you allow yourself to do them. So cut off any behavior that does not move you towards your goal and you'll see an immediate improvement in your productivity and in your self self esteem and confidence. Thank you for watching the video and I hope to see you next week in the next video. Please subscribe if you haven't and check out my ebook Evolution of a Maniac. This is the last week that it's on sale for 9.99. After this weekend, it goes up back to $37. So if you wanted it, if you thought about it, it's your last shot to get it at this price. Thank you very much and I'll see you soon.